Belichick and Ray Ferraro. I'm Mike Emery. Tonight, a great game that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Tonight, it's a game between the Russians and Team USA. Teams are just about ready. Eddie, what do you think? Two teams that have two well-crafted game plans, but once the puck drops, anything can happen, Doc, as we've seen in the past. I believe the key to this game is who stays to their game plan will win this game. Puck lost. He was bumped down to one knee. He missed the net! Well, that was a pretty brutal shot. He missed the net by 15 feet. He's better than that. Score! It is 1-0. The visiting team. We're so far up here, Doc. I'm not sure if that puck got deflected. Let's go down the ray and see what he saw at ice level. Not only was the puck deflected, Edzo, it's through traffic as well. You're going to see on the replay that the goaltender's fighting, A, the traffic. He's got to get into position for it. Right when he thinks he's got the puck at him, the puck changes directions. He just can't catch up. And they won the faceoff. USA has got another face-off win. Snaps a shot. Score! You get to this high-scoring area, a wrist shot is a great choice. I don't know what he's going to do with that one, Edzo. That thing is delivered to perfection. Russia's got another face-off win. Flips that wrist shot. Gathered up by Grigorenko. One-timer. Great save off a of howitzer. Puck covered. Whistle blown. The United States can't expect another save like the one we just saw. Their goaltender came up large to bail them out. look big. O'Brien's feeling all of that solid hit. He's just going to slowly glide to the bench. Oh, and a great block of the puck. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Point blast. Score! And it's a one-goal game. He had a lot of time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Absolutely a great shot, Edzo, but the goaltender dropped down just a bit quick, left the top of the net exposed. The Americans control at center ice. Into the attacking end. He is shut right off. This is not going to be a game for quiet play. Outstanding work with the glove. The first period has come to a close, and we do have a score. It's a close game after one. You'd expect that from these two. Hockey's narrowest lead is what we have here. One goal. Limited edition team prints are available tonight at your team store. The United States has the lead in a highly entertaining game. And goaltending has been sparkling, particularly their goaltender, and particularly on this save. Right back after this. Picks it up in his own end. Outstanding hitting in this game. There's an example. Oh, I felt that hit, but heard it as well. Team Russia is in control as they travel up the wing. They've vacated the goal crease so they can go with that extra man. The exchange is made. Donovan's getting a two-minute boarding penalty. As you see the player facing the boards, you cannot make contact with that player while he has no chance to protect himself. Two minutes for boarding. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Team USA penalty. Beat him on that 16. one. Two minutes for boarding. Time to the penalty. And the puck is seized by Moss. Score!
Moss decided from the point to let that wrister go, and it found the back of the net. Really lucky if you're the shooter. Horrible luck for the goaltender. I mean, he's in front of the puck until it hits the broken stick. Rush has broken the tie and gotten back ahead, and we're still in the second period. Should be fun just to get to the end of this one. Possession established. Good reach there. Up the wing, skating with it now. Out in front. He scores! Four unanswered goals. Especially in the offensive zone, if you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. And so lots of times we shake our head as the goaltender gives one up. Not here. He did everything he could. The Russians have now built a lead of two. Perhaps they can build on it even more before the end of the second period. And the faceoff's won. Shoots and a save. Put covered. Whistle blown. So Michigan's save is a good one, but defensively they cannot give up another odd man rush. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. You play along the boards, that's bound to happen. The United States got a minor penalty. Two minutes for charging. All this player has to do, Doc, is not skate through the hit. Glide a little bit before you make contact with the attacking. He's in on an onside play. Good hand to eye. And the reach of the stick. Brings a shot. That shot came from right in front. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. 40 minutes have been played. A rest is deserved. Be sure to get next year's season tickets now at this year's location and prices without paying extra for the first three rounds of the playoffs. This offer is available now. Shinneman's marker made this a two-goal lead for his team. Intermission is next. On the concourse. The Russians on the move through center. Puts one on. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks. He scores! A terrific goal for Team Russia. People always zero in on the puck, but if you're going to have great puck support, you better have the guys without it that go to the open ice. And so everybody's heading north. The puck turns around and heads south back towards the goal. The goalie just can't handle this shot. Russia's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. And that's a face-off win. Waits with it. They score! They only trail. Now, when you talk to goaltenders, they say it's tough to pick up that puck on the backhand. His technique is good. The butterfly is really solid. He just gets beaten with a better shot here. The Americans have closed the gap to just two. And there is time here in the third period to get another one or maybe get two and get this game back even. Trying to go to Ponikarovsky. Kalisha seems to be skating down. Score! Kovalchuk's quick hands put himself in a position to score on the forehand. I love the way that he sold this deep and then his hands take over. Smooth, silky in the net. Russia's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Russia goal scored by number 70. The stick can break up a play and it just did. 
Shoots one. Score! Two straight goals. The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. Now this stinks for the goaltender, Edzo. He stops about 85% of this puck. That's not enough. It just trickles USA past him. Team USA is making a goaltending change. Sort of an odd time. Maybe he's trying to rally the team. Russia's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Knocked to a knee. It's loose. Terrific handoff. It is a lopsided tilt. There has been some penalty activity, and here comes a little bit more. Doc, you can push in the game of hockey, but once you get that stick up, two hands on the stick, that's a penalty. That was textbook. Excellent job, and now the players... And he's all alone. Moving into Terry. Oh, an error on that pass. Good chance here. And there it is. The game is over. I know what that's like, Doc, being on the end of some bad game, some bad efforts. I'm not looking forward to practice tomorrow. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.